Okay guys, how's it going? I'm Nino here, and today I'm just going to quickly talk about uh, one of my favorite loadouts on Uncharted 4. I love this loadout so much because it's so accurate and close range and it's so fun to use like in close quarter combat. And the reload speed of this gun is so fast, like already, that you don't even feel like it takes like... It doesn't take that long as an AK-47 would. AK-47 reload is pretty annoying sometimes, but this is like up close and personal and it really helps sort of pin down people and just, it's so mobile and here, here is my build right here. MP43, sorry, MP34A with the blind fire accuracy. I honestly think once you have 1200 downs, you should go for Drake's MP34A because it has blind fire and accuracy. So it's accurate when you're blind firing, which is without holding L2. And it's also accurate when you hold down L2. So it's accurate in both ways. It's really good to have that, actually. So going for that once you have enough is the way to go. Next up, I have extended mags with a para. The reason I go extended mag is because this gun, you tend to you tend to want to kill that person with your full magazine without having a reload. Reload fast. Reload is pretty fast already, but extended mags sort of helps you pin down people. Like you can kill two people with extended mags with just one magazine, and I really think that's the way to go for the para. It's such a nice and consistent pistol. Like I have the B shy point fifty cal. I have the jackal. I have the pistol, and I'm not using any of these. I use the para. It's such a consistent gun, and it's accurate. It's nice. It does really good damage. Actually, it's not that bad of a. Uh, a damaged pistol like I honestly think it's better than the Fossa and the Rafika in a lot of ways like Fossa it runs out of ammo too quick uh, pistol is nice in close range but you don't want two close range guns together so it's better to have para for like a little bit like medium to long distances and mp3 4a for close range and it's just amazing jackal is okay i guess it's not that you can go for jackal if you want bishai is eh you know it's just one pistol reload and you need three shots to the body to kill and one to the head but yeah if you're good with headshots go for this if you want an alternate to long range when you have short range but the para is just really good in every situation that's why i recommend the para it's good in every single situation like literally you run out of ammo with your mp you just switch your gun to the para and you keep shooting it's just amazing to have the para it's a very nice pistol next up is the hunter sidekick my favorite sidekick in the game because this allows the whole rushing aspect to be even better right so you put down the hunter and you're already a close range player, right? So the hunter catches someone, you press square to, because it's an insta kill if you just press square, and then you shoot them while they're on the ground. Uh, I, I, I guess you can kick them twice, like kick once to drop them, kick again to kill them. But shooting I find is quicker because it keeps you more mobile. Instead of having to wait for the kick animation to go through, if there are other people around you, you definitely want to shoot instead of kick, unless they don't know you're there. Next up is the mine. I don't go grenade because it will waste a slot because then I can't go helping hand the marking three. Also, mines are awesome, man. It's not like I need grenades that badly. Mines are probably one of my favorite gears in the game. You put it down. They go in that place. Boom. They instantly get wrecked. It's really good because you're already a mobile you're already playing mobility based so you definitely want to put mines all around catch people like there's a lot of good mine spots I might make another video of the best mine spots on every map because I really just like to put them in places where they can't be seen properly and they just go boom like it's awesome I love the mine um, next up marking three of course this is like a must I played the last of us and I always go mark as my I don't know what you call it, perks, booster, yeah, I think it's called booster. I like the mark, you aim, you press L3, you mark them, it also marks people around that person you marked, so it's perfect, it's like free cash, it literally is just like free cash, you just, all you have to do is press L3 while you aim, and you have free cash, it also helps your team, because you're letting them know where everyone is, so marking 3, 100%, 100%, 100%, you can go for um, the other one, which is if I can find it very quickly here mark on damage that costs 4 LP so it costs less than marking 3 which is 5 LP you can go for this it basically you shoot them it marks but the only bad thing about this is that it doesn't mark like when you mark one person it doesn't 
mark everyone else around him. So that's why I think marking three is better because it marks people around that person, and it just it outlines them for for a while. And it's, I think it's really awesome to have that. Helping hand three is just I think it's it's great. Uh, you instantly heal a person to full HP. You heal them quickly. You can actually swap helping hand three to stealth if you want. Stealth two. Stealth three is. Uh, you can't be marked by staff, but not many people use staff. I mean, this is not always a must. The stealth 2, I think, is just good enough. So if you don't want helping hand, go stealth 2. Stealth 2 is really good also. But yeah, that's pretty much that with blind fire accuracy. But keep in mind, once you have uh, Drake's MP43A, it will cost 12 LP. So you won't actually have uh, enough LP to, to put in marking 3, helping hand 3, mine, and hunter or the extended mag on the para, you'll have to think about that. So you, maybe you don't want the hunter, you pick something else. Maybe you want to pick a... Oh, I got disconnected. Well, that's a shame. Whoops. But you guys get my point. <laughs> Sorry about that. It just disconnected for some reason. But you guys get my point. So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that class helps you out, and maybe you can use it. It's one of my favorite classes in the game at the moment, and I really love the gun. It's such a nice gun. Such an accurate gun in close range, and I definitely recommend you guys pick it up as well. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.